Hey guys, Bellamy here from Midnight Suns back again with another Overwatch 2 video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite Brigetta shoot jumping locations in Overwatch 2. Alright, let us begin with Busan Downtown. When you exit your spawn, you can go into this room with the staircase that leads up to this small room up here and then from up here you can shoot bash across to the middle of the map. You can also get up there by jumping and then shoot bashing into the tree here and you will be able to fight on the high ground if you need to. Sometimes when you fight enemy Genjis or Hanzos, they might like to just camp up up here in the middle and start spamming their shurikens or arrows so if you shoot bash up there, you can actually contest them and chase them off the high ground there. So you can just shoot bash to the middle and then when your shoot bash cooldown recovers, you can shoot bash away to the other side if you need to. On Busan Mecha Base, in front of the point on both sides, you can actually stand on top of this metal pillar thingy. And then if you jump and shoot bash towards the railings, you can actually get to the high ground instantly. On Busan Sanctuary, on both sides of the point, you have this sloped pillar. And if you jump and shoot bash towards the corner of it, you can get onto the high ground immediately without having to go around the sides. And at the start of the match, usually people like to fight in this little temple thing over here. If you go down to the bottom, you can actually jump and shoot bash and get to the high ground where the mega health pack is instantly. And yes, this works on both sides of the map as well. And in front of your spawn, there's this small room with a mega health pack in it. Sometimes if your health is low, you might want to go in there and get the mega health pack and come back out. And if you jump and shoot bash while you're on the staircase here, you can actually climb up to the high ground instantly and join the rest of your team and continue pushing towards the point. On Ilio's Lighthouse, if you go up to the high ground here, you can actually jump and shoot bash over this rounded roof and land on this little extended platform here and from this point you can jump down and attack the enemies if you have to. Alternatively, when you're up here, you can actually jump onto the other high ground area here as well and then from here you can shoot bash and get on top of the point instantly. So enemy Ash and Widowmakers like to camp on top there, so it is really good if you need to chase them down. And this is just a shortcut which is quite good if you really need to rush onto the point quickly or escape from the point as fast as you can. Usually you can't walk around this ledge here, you will just slide off and die, but if you jump and shoot Bash at the right moment, you can cross the whole area instantly without having to go into the room. On Ilios Ruins, there's this area right next to the point. If you jump and shoot bash towards the slope at this rock wall here, it will send you flying into the air and you can get onto the high ground. And from here you can shoot bash to access other areas of the high ground. And yes, this works on both sides of the map as well. And while you're on this high ground, you can actually shoot bash against this stone wall here and get up there. And from there you can shoot bash again and get up here to this area where Widowmakers like to camp. Now normally there's not much reason for Brigetta to be up here. But if you have a really good Widowmaker on your team and the enemy has a Winston that's just constantly diving on her, you can climb up here so that you can protect her and she can just go free and just start sniping everybody. On Ilios well, on this spot right next to the point, you can jump and shoot bash towards the tree trunk here and instantly get onto the high ground. And if you walk up to the high ground next to the point here, you can also shoot bash towards this windmill building that's right next to the point. And you can also go back and forth the high grounds using your shoot bash from this area. And also on the high ground, you can shoot bash to get access to this small little roof out here. It works on both sides as well. On Liqiang Tower Control Center, you can go to this ledge here and shoot bash to get right back in front of your spawn point if enemies are chasing you. And if you have your rally out ready, you can also use your out to get a speed boost so that you can shoot bash back to the area if you need to. Now normally you wouldn't want to waste your out doing this, but if you are on overtime and you need to rush to the point quickly and the enemies are just camping in front of your spawn and blocking the choke, then this is a great way to go around them and rush to the point or even just backstab them while they are at the choke. And while you are at the point, you can jump on top of this control banner here and then do a shoot jump to access the high ground immediately with the mega health back here. And yes, this works on both sides as well. On Liqiang Tower Garden, you can jump and shoot bash to go past the gap that surrounds the entire point. This is especially useful if you need to rush into the point or rush out of the point very quickly. 
And also when you're on the bridge here, you can actually jump off and do a shoot bash and land right outside the point there and start backstabbing the enemies who are attacking your teammates at the bridge. And you can also use your whip shot here to get a free environmental kill if your enemies are standing at the bridge trying to hold your team back. And if you shoot bash onto the rock here next to the point, you can get to the high ground immediately as well and this works on both sides. And from the high ground, if you need to get onto the point quickly, you can shoot bash across this rooftop here and slide onto the point. And on both sides, you can also jump and shoot bash against this rock here and get onto the point really quickly. Alternatively, you could also just jump and shoot bash at the ledge, but this is a little bit slower than using the rock. Okay, on Li Jiang Tower Night Market, there are a couple of shoot jumps you can do off this golden lion statue here. So the most useful one if you need to access high ground is that you can climb on top of the statue and do a shoot jump and land on this sloped area right here. And from here you can contest all the widow makers that like to camp up here. Alternatively, if you are on top of the golden lion statue and you need to rush onto the point quickly, you can also just jump and shoot bash towards this rooftop here and you will slide across the roof and get onto the point really quickly. If the enemies are busy fighting at the front there, you can also just turn around and start backstabbing them. On the Bao Sanctum, right next to the point up here, you can jump onto this pot and then jump and do a shoot bash to get onto the point really quickly. But do note you can only do this consistently on one side. On the other side, the pot is placed at a different position, so you won't be able to get the elevation you need to complete the shoot jump. Alright, and on the power shrine, you can do a shoot jump off this bronze horse statue up here, right next to the point. And this will get you access to the high ground on both sides immediately. And while you are on the point, you can jump onto this pot up here at the corner, and do a shoot jump to get to this bronze elephant statue immediately. And if you are out there, you can also shoot jump to get back onto the point immediately. And yes, this works on both sides as well. Okay, on the Pau Village, you can do a shoot jump on this icy slope here and get access to the high ground immediately. And yes, it works on both sides too. And right next to the point, if you shoot bash, you can get up onto this rock formation here. And when your shoot bash cools down, you can shoot bash and slide across this rooftop here and get onto the high ground on the sides immediately. Okay, and this is a very useful shoot jump that you need to learn. From the corner here where the mega health pack is, you can actually shoot jump and get into that room next to the point immediately. If you are trying to attack the point, your enemies will never expect you coming from the corner there. And if your health is low and you're trying to escape, you can also just jump off the edge there and shoot bash away and get onto the mega health pack here and instantly have your health be full. On Oasis City Centre, there is a huge gap around here in front of the spawn points. But if you do a shoot jump, you can easily cross the gap and get to the mega health pack if you need to. And yes, this works on both sides as well. A lot of times when enemies push you back to spawn, they like to hang around that area and start firing at you from there. So you can surprise them by shoot bashing across the gap and start attacking them. And from the high ground, you can also shoot bash to access this high area here on top of the point, where enemy Ashes and Lucios and Widowmakers like to camp at. On Oasis Gardens, if you get to the high ground next to the point here, you can jump off the edge here and do a shoot bash to get away to safety immediately. And there is also a mega health pack here if you need health. And it's very similar for Oasis University. If you're fighting in the high ground next to the point and your health is low, you can jump off the edge and shoot bash towards this small health pack here. On Circuit Royale, if you are on attack, you can go into this room on the left here and climb up the stairs. And then once you reach this high ground here, you can do a shoot jump to access the enemy's high ground. And on the second point, if you are on defense, you can jump on top of these crates here and then shoot bash towards the roof of the tent. Many soldiers and Widowmakers like to camp here, so if your teammates are doing that, you can get up here with them and protect them with your 300 HP shield if you need to. Alright, on Dorado, you can go onto this small staircase at the high ground here and then jump and shoot bash across to this rooftop area here that's very popular. If the enemies have a Genji, Widowmaker or Hanzo, they will usually climb up here the moment they come out of spawn and you can surprise them and get an easy kill on them. And then once you are done with your business, you can just shoot jump back. 
Alright, and on the high ground, still at the first point here, you can shoot Bash to get across to the fountain in the middle. From this fountain area, you can just hold down your left click and keep hitting enemies who will be at the payload right in front of you. And if your health is low, then you shoot Bash back and recover your health. Okay, and on the second point, if you jump on top of this statue here, you can do a shoot jump and slide on top of this wall here, and immediately dive on the enemies who will most likely be standing here. Now of course you don't want to dive in alone and you should definitely coordinate with your team before you do this. And on Havana at the first point, if you are on defense during the setup period, you can do a shoot jump on this truck here and get access to the high ground on top of the petrol station. Now this is a very useful spot especially if you are playing in low level games because you can actually contest the payload from up here and most enemies in the low ranks might not even realize that you are up here. And if you get caught, if you have a Symmetra on your team, you can get her to immediately teleport you out. Okay, on the second point here, if you're on the high ground in the middle, you can do a shoot jump and get on top of this metal tanks here. We should get you access to the high ground on the other side. And from there, you can also shoot bash back if you need to. This is good for contesting Widowmakers. And still on the second point, if you get on top of this wooden crate here, you can shoot bash towards these two large metal tanks in the middle and you'll get onto this small elevated area. Now this is useful if you want to surprise the enemies when the payload comes around the corner, and you can get a few hits on them before they even realize that you are there. And on the third point here, if you jump on top of this rock wall here, you can shoot bash across the gap here. This is very useful for both attack and defense. And if you jump on top of the cannon and the low ground here, you can also do a shoot jump to get onto the higher ground on the right side. Also, while you're up there, you can also do a shoot jump off the staircase to get access to this little room here right in front of the enemy spawn point. If you coordinate with your team and everybody dives in at the same moment, you will be able to really surprise the enemies and start backstabbing them from here. And also on this final point here, there's this rock that you can do a shoot jump off to get access to the high ground on the side. Now you can either jump and shoot bash at the rock to get to the high ground or you can jump on top of the rock and then do a shoot bash. Both ways will get you onto the high ground. On Junker Town, when you exit your spawn on attack, if you go to the high ground exit, you can do a shoot jump and get on top of this roof here. And from here you can just jump down normally. And then once your shoot bash recovers, you can do a shoot jump across this rooftop here and get behind the enemy Widowmaker. And if you get to these wheels in front of the Jungle Town gate, you can do a shoot jump to get extreme verticality and access the high ground immediately. And yes, this works on both sides of the gate. And while you're up here on the high ground, you can also shoot bash to get access to this room above the health pack here. Towards the end of the second point, there's this hovering vehicle here. And if you shoot bash towards the engine on the front of it, it will send you flying into the air with a lot of verticality and you will be able to access the high ground immediately. And on top of these crates here, also at the second point, you can do a shoot jump to access the high ground quickly too. Okay, and finally on the third point, if you climb up the side of this machine here, and then you jump backwards and do a shoot bash, you will be able to get access to the high ground immediately. On Rialto, if you are on attack, if you go out through the high ground exit, you will be able to shoot bash and access all the high ground areas. You can also shoot bash across this low wall here, and get access to the enemy's high ground. And it works both ways as well. Okay, and if you are on defense, and you need to get back to the first point quickly, you can actually walk up the staircase here, and do a shoot jump to immediately get to this area with the mega health pack. And then you can go back and start contesting the payload as well. Okay, and on the second point, if you go to this area above the staircase here, you can shoot bash to immediately get access to this popular Widowmaker camping spot. And from there, you can shoot jump back as well. Alright, now we are moving on to Route 66. If you push up to the high ground over here on attack, you can do a shoot jump to immediately get onto the high ground on top of the gas station. Alternatively, you can also do a shoot jump on this rock formation on the bottom right here. And this will land you on top of the signboard and then you can jump on top of the gas station and dive on the enemies as well. And on the bottom, you can also do a shoot jump off this slope bins over there. And this will also give you access to that high ground area. 
If you go around the back, you can also shoot jump off this rock formation at the back here and get access to the high ground immediately. And if you're on the bottom left of this area and there are enemies on the high ground, you can shoot jump off this rock here and get to the high ground immediately and start contesting. Alright, on this second point here, do a shoot jump against this rock wall here. You can get access to the high ground immediately as well. And you can also do a shoot jump off the rock here to get onto the bridge above. And if you need to get onto the roof of this middle building, you can do a shoot jump off this extremely tall rock, turn around and then land on the roof. And on the last point, if you need to access the room on the high ground quickly, you can do a shoot jump onto the crate across and jump up. You can also just do a shoot bash immediately at the ledge, and this will send you upwards onto the high ground as well. Alright, on Shambhali Monastery, on the first point, you can do a shoot jump onto these metal tubes here, and this will send you onto the roof up there, which is a very popular Widowmaker camping spot. And on the last point, you can do a shoot jump to slide across the sloped area on top of this low wall here, and dive onto the point quickly. Okay, on Watchpoint Gibraltar, if you jump out of these crates here, you can do a shoot jump and get on top of this shipping container. And from below, if you do a shoot jump onto these rocks on this spot, you will land on top of one of the rocks, and then from that rock you can jump onto the high ground here. Alright, and when you're on this roof area here, you can do a shoot bash to go back and forth from these two spots. On the second point, you can do a shoot jump here and then get on top of the plane. And then while you're on top of the plane, you can do a shoot bash to get access to both sides of the high ground. At the back of the second point here, you can do a shoot jump to get on top of this forklift. And from here you can get access to the high ground as well. And on the last point, if you jump on top of this machine here, you can do a shoot jump onto this small ledge. And once your cooldown has recharged, you can also shoot jump across to the other side. And while you're on this bridge, you can also do a shoot jump onto these orange pipes, which will get you over to the high ground on the other side. On Blizzard War, at the first point, you can jump on top of these haystacks and do a shoot jump to get to this high ground immediately. You can also get access to the high ground spot by doing a shoot jump onto this ticketing machine below. And if you need to get to the high ground on the side here, you can do a shoot jump onto this rock here. Or you can also climb onto the crates across and do a shoot jump. And if you climb onto this wooden boat on top here, you can do a shoot jump to slide across this small roof here and get onto the enemy back lines while you are trying to push onto the point. And on the second point here, you can do a shoot bash to climb this blue machine, so you can get around onto the high ground here if the enemies have too much spam damage on the staircase. And towards the end of the second point, if you do a shoot jump onto this large rock here, you'll be able to get access to the high ground immediately as well. And on the final point, if you do a shoot jump onto this broken wall, it will send you upwards onto the high ground. Also, if you're fighting right at the front there, you can shoot bash across the gap and get into this mega health pack immediately if your health is low. On Icon Vault, you can shoot jump across the high ground on these two areas here. And while you're up there, you can also do a shoot jump onto this broken wall and get to the other side of the wall. And while you're on the other side, you can also do a shoot jump off the power of towels there and get back on the other side of the wall. If you need to get access to the high ground from below, you can also do a shoot jump off these broken towels. This is just very useful to do if you need to contest Widowmakers while camping up here. And if you need to get on top of the bridge here, you can do a shoot jump from below towards these broken towels, and you will get up there immediately. And here's a neat trick. If you are fighting on this staircase over here, you can back off, and then do a shoot bash off the top here and land behind your enemies and start attacking them from the back. They will never see it coming. And if you're fighting on the middle bridge here, you can do a shoot bash to get to the other side quickly if your health is low and you need to run away and hide in the room. And if you do a shoot jump off these broken tiles on the corner here, 
you'll be able to get up there. This is useful if you are pushing the payload on the last stretch of the second point here, and you want to surprise the enemies when they come out of their spawn. And finally on the last point here, you can do a shoot jump off the body of this fallen crusader and get access to the high ground immediately. On Hollywood, if you push to this high ground on the first point, you can do a shoot jump to get access to the enemy's high ground above here. Also, you can do a shoot jump off the car here, which will get you to the same spot. On the second point, you can jump on top of this bin and then the crate, and then do a shoot jump onto the haystacks opposite, and this will allow you to jump onto the high ground here. You can also do a shoot jump onto the spotlight here, which will get you onto the same spot. And from this high ground, you can shoot bash across the rooftops here. And on the last point, you can do a shoot jump off the top of the stairs here and get on top of the caravan if you need to. On King's Row, if you are on attack, you can do a shoot jump across this area on the top right to start contesting enemies on the high ground here. If you are on defense, you can also do a shoot jump to get onto this platform where the golden statues are. And finally on the last point, if you go on top of this small staircase leading to the small health pack, you can do a shoot jump that will get you onto the high ground here. On midtown, if you are defending on the first point, you can do a shoot jump from the window of this room over here to get into the window of the room opposite. And from here, you can go down and start backstabbing the enemies that are trying to push onto your point. On the second point here, if you climb up this structure, you can do a shoot jump to get to this high ground immediately. And finally, on the last point, you can do a shoot jump to get onto this elevator area, which will allow you to take the lift and go up so you can contest the enemies up there. On Numbani, when you walk out of your spawn room on attack, you can do a shoot jump onto this bus and get onto the high ground quickly. And once your shoot bash has cooled down, you can also do a shoot jump to get into this room quickly. And on this high ground area, you can also do shoot jumps to get across both areas quickly. If you are pushing through the main choke, you can also do a shoot jump to get on top of this bus here. On the second point, you can do a shoot jump onto this green bus, which will get you onto the high ground. And you can do it from both ends of the bus. At the end of the second point, if you get up onto the corner here, you can also do a shoot jump to reach the high ground. And finally, on the last point if you're on defense, you can come out of the right side of your spawn and do a shoot jump to get to this area here where enemy hit scans like to camp at. On Paraiso, you can do a shoot jump off this little antenna on top of this building here, which will send you into the window of this room on the high ground. And from here, you can shoot bash to get onto the other rooftops as well. On the final point, you can do a shoot jump off this elevated area and get onto the enemy's high ground immediately. If you are on defense, you can also shoot jump to get across these elevated areas. And if you are on attack and you are pushing the final point and you want to hold your enemies back at spawn, you can do a shoot jump in front of their spawn point here to get access to their other spawn exit. And this will allow you to just hold them back for a few seconds while your teammates push the payload and win the game for you. Alright, now let us move on to Colosseo. In front of the spawn point on both sides, there will be a signboard. If you do a shoot jump off the signboard, you will be able to get access to the high ground on both sides. And in this tiny room that is opposite the signboard from earlier, you can also do a shoot jump to get onto this tiny alcove over here. And yes, this works on both sides as well. On Esperanza, if you get on top of this tiny fountain, you can do a shoot jump and get into the room on the enemy's high ground. And this works on the other side as well. And from out here, you can shoot jump onto other areas of the high ground. You can shoot jump onto this bus here. And from this bus, you can actually jump into the room on top. 
And if you should jump onto these tiles over here, it will send you flying vertically and you can land on the bridge above. On New Queen Street, you can do a shoot jump from the room on the high ground and get to the bridge in the middle. And this works on both sides as well. If you are on the low ground, you can also shoot bash off this trash bin in the middle and this will get you on top of the red bus. And from the red bus, you can jump onto the bridge above. And this works on both sides too. On Hanamura, if you go up the staircase on the side at the first point, you can do a shoot jump through the window here and bypass the choke entirely. And you can go back and forth with your shoot jumps if you need to. If you push onto the high ground here, you can do a shoot jump and get to this area that's above the point. And from there you can go around and drop onto the point. Or you can do a shoot jump up here onto this roof and crouch and wait for your team to regroup before you dive onto the point. If you need to cross this gap over here quickly, you can also do a shoot jump, which will get you across easily. There are also several high ground areas here that you can use shoot jumps to travel across freely. Usually when I'm playing on defense, I like to go through this little circuit that you see here. And it's really hard for any enemies to chase me. Alright, and if you're on attack and you're pushing the second point here, you can do a shoot bash off this rock in front of the second point on the left. And you can get into the window on top of the point. And this works on the rock on the right as well. Alright, and if you fall into the pit below, you can do a shoot jump to immediately get back onto the point. And if you are on defense and the enemies have a symmetry and they are all teleporting above the point, you can do a shoot jump from this high ground over here on the left and get access to the area on top of the point. On Horizon Luna Colony, you can do a shoot jump to get on top of this space rover. And this is very useful because enemies support like to hang around here. And you can take them out from above. And if you're on the high ground, you can do a shoot jump onto this sloped control panel, which will give you a huge boost and you can land straight in the middle of the point. If you're on the high ground on the right side, you can also do a shoot jump onto this sloped area and fly to the other side of the point. This is very useful if your team is split up and you need to quickly get to them if they are on the other side. On Paris, if you go up this staircase here, you can do a shoot jump to get onto the high ground on the other side and it works both ways as well. And while you are on the high ground in front of the point here, you can do a shoot jump onto this round structure to get a little extra distance and slide right into the middle of the point. And on the second point, if you jump onto the ledge on the pillar here, you can do a shoot jump and immediately get onto the high ground here and start contesting the enemies. The enemy hit scans will be camping over here, so this is a shoot jump that you definitely want to be able to do as much as you can. On the Temple of Anubis, you can do a shoot jump to get onto the roof of this building here. And from here, you can also do a shoot jump to get to the high ground above the point. Alternatively, you could just jump onto the roof area from earlier and then do the same shoot jump to get to the high ground. This way, you will only need to use your shoot bash once and you won't need to wait for the cooldown. And while you are on the point, you can do a shoot jump off this fountain here and this will send you to the high ground at the back. On the second point, you can do a shoot jump to push towards the choke quickly. And also on the second point, you can jump up here and do a shoot jump to get to this area where Widowmaker stack to camp. On Voskaya Industries, you can jump out of this vehicle over here and shoot jump across to different areas of the high ground. All of the high ground areas at the first point here can be accessed with your shoot jump. And on the second point, you can shoot jump across these small windows on top here. Which is really good if you need to escape or chase away enemies or even just get a higher vantage point so you can report the enemy positions to your teammates. And over here right next to the point, you can shoot jump here to escape if your health is low or to chase down low health enemies. You can also do it from on top of the staircase if you need to. And finally, 
You can also use your shield bash to get across to the enemy's high ground over here. Alright, moving on to Black Forest. You can do a shield jump off the side of this crashed machine over here. And this will send you straight into the room on the high ground above. And this works on both sides as well. You can also shoot jump across the high ground areas in this map. Alright, let's move on to Castillo. When you reach the high ground here, you can jump off the edge and then shoot bash into the opening in the middle. And typically your enemies won't expect this and you will be able to pick off one of their supports. You can also use your whip shot to knock them off this high ground area so that your team will have the numbers advantage. But this will only work if your team is playing a very brawly composition, so don't try to do this if you are diving in alone. This trick works on both sides of the map as well. On Echo Point Antarctica, you can shoot jump across the various high ground areas of the map. If you jump off the ledge here, you can shoot bash into this middle area where most brawls usually happen. Alright, moving on to Chateau Gia. You can shoot jump across this ledge here to get to a small health pack quickly. And then you can just jump back normally and continue fighting if you need to. And while you're on the balcony outside here, you can shoot jump through these bushes here and get to the other side without the enemy seeing you. This is really good for surprising enemies, especially enemies that are trying to run away from you. On Kanezaka, there are several high ground areas that you can easily access with shoot jumping. And over here in the middle, there's also a high ground area that you can get to if you slide across the roof here and then do a shoot bash. On my Vento, if you take this green jump pad and get to the high ground here, you can jump off the edge and do a shoot bash to slide across these low walls and get back on the other side. This is really good if you are chasing down low health enemies because you'll be able to catch up to them instantly. And finally, you can also do a shoot jump off this ledge here to get into the church building quickly. Alright, moving on to Necropolis. There's nothing really fancy here. You can just use your shoot jump to get across the various rooftops of this map. And there's also a big gap in the middle, which you can cross using your shoot jump. On Petra, towards the outside of the map, there's this rock formation here that you can shoot jump into to push yourself into the room above quickly. And if you take the green jump pad and do a shoot bash while you're falling, you can enter this room on the left here. And for our final map, we have Ayutthaya. So for this map, I only have one really useful shoot jump, and that is right in front of the point here on the high ground. If your enemies push in from the top left, you can actually jump out the window in the middle here, and do a shoot jump to get right behind them at the top left. As always, you need to make sure you coordinate with your team so that you don't just jump in alone and die. This is really good for surprising your enemies and backstabbing them. And this can be done on both sides of the map as well. And those are my favourite Brigata shoot jumping spots in Overwatch 2. This is not an exhaustive list by any means and there are more shoot jumping spots out there but these are just my favourites and I tend to use them as much as I can and I hope they'll be helpful to you as well. Anyway, if you have any feedback, please go down to the comments below and let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and stay gold everybody. Bye bye.